the reaction late last night? You know, what was, was the group text flowing, or what was that like? Well, you know, we're we act old around here, so I think a lot of us were asleep. I uh, I just couldn't think about it. I, I didn't. I just uh, I went to sleep and woke up to a lot of fun texts this morning, really early. I actually set my alarm for midnight to get up and check the score, and actually just turned it off, didn't even look. So um, just made for a really exciting morning and. Um, really happy for these guys. I mean, really happy, happy for these players. You mentioned yesterday, especially like Kelsey, you're wearing her shirt. Is that why, or is there something else to it? Yeah, no, I, I really am happy. Kelsey Mitchell has been here um, and just been through some really hard times. And so just throughout this process, anytime I thought about making it to playoffs, she's top of mind for me because she's she's deserved this. And she's um, had a really, you know, she hasn't had the easiest year. And um, just for her to get this and experience playoffs, um, for the first time is really incredible. You're in, so now how do you pause and say, okay, this is great, but we still have some to play for here, potential seating to move up and a strong stretch here at home in this next couple of weeks. Yeah, you know, we don't plan on changing anything. Um, it is uh, still, you know, pedal to the metal, and we just want to make sure that we're doing the things that got us here. Um, it's just what I kind of told the players um, this morning in video, you know, if we would have listened to everybody else and only talk about results, right? Being one and eight, you, we wouldn't have been here if it was um, something that really that was important to us. But all we kept talking about was the things that were important, which was effort, um, just our energy, the togetherness, the toughness, and then the resiliency that really showed up. And uh, and that's why I think we're, that's why we're here today. Two road wins over the weekend. How important was it to be able to go away? Because ultimately, you get the playoffs. You got to win on the road. Yeah, yeah. T you know, anytime in this league, you go on the road and get wins. They're they're huge. And uh, you you know, Chicago's fighting for a spot. Um, Dallas is fighting for a spot. So, you know, just to go in and win those games and for us to have this momentum going and these players playing the basketball that they are, we're just like flowing right here at the right time. We just have to keep that momentum. Was there a turning point moment for you this season when you felt like, yeah, we're starting to click and the playoffs are definitely a possibility? Yeah, you know, it was before the, the break. We'd started playing well and then we didn't beat Dallas at Dallas after we'd had a really good win on the road against Minnesota. Um, and it just kind of left that bad taste in your mouth um, throughout the whole break. And we kind of kind of took that and, and used that as um, momentum to uh, try to get these guys to do something different. And that break just really changed for us. It gave us the rest and also it let them, you know, build some chemistry with each other and really work on some things in practice. I think that really was the, the turning point for us. LA tonight, you could look like in college, we probably call it a trap game in a tournament setting. How do you kind of get your girls dialed in? They seem to be yeah. really relaxed and ready to go and just kind of take care of business tonight. Yeah, you know, that's kind of the way we've been business like. You know, we've really tried to not be too high, not too low. It's really hard not to be too high today, um, you know, with our, our clinching, but. It is, uh, it's just another another game for us. And uh, just to build towards, you know, our goal of doing something in the playoffs. I'm seeing them so loose. Three games, shoot around, all of this. Have you felt that these last three weeks or so? That there just seems to be a lightness about this team. Yeah, that's, that's we've really, our, the coaching staff has talked about that. It's just been something that, you know, with a young team, it's like you got to fill things out. And um, that's their personality. And, uh, you know, we don't want them to, to overthink. Just, you know, keep doing what they're doing and keep that confidence. We're Out. six games in a row at home now. What has a home game here become like for your team? Yeah, I mean, our our games at home are, are playoff championship games with the feel from the fans. I mean, the fans are are incredible. I mean, just to it gets so loud in here at times when thing, when good things are happening, and you know they're they're that six man for us. Um, uh, just just a really exciting time for for the people. Knowing how it gets during just a regular season game, have you even dared to dream about what a playoff game might be in this building? I mean, if it's any better than it already is, that's uh, it's, that's going to be pretty incredible. Allison made her announcement this morning. What, what will you think back about your relationship and, and growing it back to becoming a playoff team again? Yeah, you know, Allison's done so much. Um, I was with her as an assistant. Um, it was right when she came in, and then, you know, she and I built a relationship, and then you know, to come back and to work for her for these last couple years. Um, she's that person that if you need anything, you give her a call and she finds a way to get it done. And I'm really happy for her and what she's going to do. She is a powerful woman who empowers other women and girls, and that's what she's going to do with her new journey. Really excited for her. To stay up to see the other teams lose and you guys clinch, did you stay up? And if so, what was kind of your reaction when you got the news? I went to bed with like five minutes left in the fourth, but um, 
definitely was keeping a close eye throughout the game and when we found out I, I think everyone was just super excited and is definitely something we were, we've been working towards. Season's not over, but just to have that kind of taken care of, it's a great feeling. Considering where you guys started, where the season started, to where you are now, not just wins, but the chemistry, the looseness, the joy, um, I mean, how big a growth has, has it felt like from inside? It feels a lot different. I think everyone can, can attest to that, that we're just having a lot of fun out there. Um, I think it's fun to watch, it's fun to be on the court, it's fun to be on the bench, it's just fun to be part of this team and follow along on this journey. And it's crazy to think that where we started the season and I think you know there were doubts from the fans, doubts from people that didn't know where we would go for the year and to be where we are today we're just really proud of ourselves. How do you find that balance then now, hey great we're in, but you have an opportunity to climb a couple seats here to keep the winning going and kind of keep this momentum going that you had in August and September? Yeah you know it, it's it's great to, to have it clinched but it's not over like we said you know we're taking every game as it comes, really focus on the game in front of us, really focus on the game tonight against Los Angeles and I'm just excited to see you know where by the end of the regular season where we're sitting. Good second half these last two games. What was this team doing after halftime, Chicago, Dallas? That you've kind of missed out on a couple games prior. Mm -hmm. I think it just shows our grit and, and that we're taking full focus for 40 minutes. Um, that's what it takes to win games in this league. And I think you see that our team is just growing in that aspect. We're, we're maturing um, basketball-wise. It's been like to go on the road and kind of be the home team as far as the crowd goes and really be able to feel that. The theater fans show out just about everywhere we go. We can hear them, we can feel them, we love them. Um, and it's just it's fun to play in front of them. Now the momentum, how would you describe it given six home games in a row now too? Yeah, it's it's growing. You can feel it. Um, I, I, I mean, every time we play here, the fans are getting louder and louder. Every They're on the edge of their seat, you know, they're eating it up. So we know that we have them throughout the course of the game and it's it's just another it's another player for us. So we really appreciate it. You mentioned how crazy the fans have been, how excited they get. Have you stopped to think about what a playoff game in this building might feel like? Well, I was here for a few of the play Pacers playoff games, and if it feels anything like that, I mean, we're, we're really excited. What's kind of led to everyone embracing kind of starting in their own role? Has that been just since the break and since the more time together? But it seems like so many of you have now thrived and been more comfortable and confident with whatever you're doing. Yeah, I think it's just, uh, you know, having confidence in each other. Um, and I've said that before, but it feels like everybody believes in every person and, and what their role is and what they can bring to this team. And we know that every night's going to look a little different. Every game's going to look different. Someone's going to have to step up. And it's just really great to see everyone doing that. I'll see you said you been to the bottom and felt it. So now, given that, how much sweeter is this feel? I'm just grateful, man. I'm here to do my work. Uh, be right by my team and the organization. That's obviously a really big step for us, but it's not enough. Um, clinching is always a good step, but it's more. We gotta go get more. It's more that we want to accomplish, and it's, it's more out there to get. And that's what I want. I think that's what my team wants too. But uh, this is every definitely it's a real moment. I'm definitely grateful for where I started and. Here's to more, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. So not being content, man. Yeah, and you gotta stay focused, moving. man. The right thing is just stay focused on what's the main thing, and that's stacking up as many days and wins as much as possible. So you set your stuff up for a playoff run, you know? Making it is one thing, but being a part of it for longevity is different, and that gotta be a mindset, kinda, you know? How much momentum do you feel with this team right now? And then, given that you're going to play the next six at home, yeah, how, how good do you feel right now? Ah, uh, man, it's a, it's a really big moment in our locker room and organization. The room in the room right now is really, really high. But as I said, you can you can never. This is where time at the, at the times like this you can't get content. Um, I think our mindset can consistently stay working, um, stay focused on what's right. But the room in the room is definitely a lot of confidence, and I think that we kind of got to give ourselves some grace and you know take that confidence because. We know where we were when we started this, and so it feels good to kind of like see, you know, those adjustments and some of those changes be made regarding our locker room and who we are as a team. So I'm excited. You've played a lot of games in this building. Have yeah. you ever stopped to think about what play, what playing a playoff game in this building would feel like? Oh man, for sure. I did. I did uh, play in the Big Ten championship here, so I felt the atmosphere um, back when I was in college a little bit. But it's nothing like being a pro and doing it. So yeah, man, that, that'll be a surreal moment as well. But. Um, I think I'm taking a stride right now. I keep stacking in many wins in the regular season and see what that feel like first. <laughs> what has led to so many players starting in their role right now? Um, I think getting to know who your, who your team is. Um, I think that we took a lot of time off the off the floor with a break. Uh, we did zip lining. We did you know together activities, team activities. We ate dinner together, and so you know you got a chance to know who each person was off off the floor and you give them gratitude. You know you don't know people's stories, and so collectively we took all of what we knew. 
um, in the Olympic break, and we kind of put it together on the court. Now you get to see it. And you, maybe more than anyone, is this the is this maybe the best you felt, and what you've been able to produce on the court on a pro level? Uh, on a pro level. Because you're also getting the results as well. Ah, uh, yeah, man. I think from an individual play, um, me personally, I think I've you know always tried to like perform this way. Um, mm -hmm. I think you know in my in my experience, you know, some people caught on late, but for me, the work has always been there, and I think now, knowing that you're winning, um, you get to see it on a different level, and so I am proud of that. I'm with you know people that want to win just as much as me. So. How much opportunity do you still see Kelsey in terms of playoff position? Oh, for sure. I, I don't think – I don't know what playoff Kelsey is because I've never experienced it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I know what, who I am and what I bring to the table, and I know uh, my strengths, I know my weaknesses. And that's why I'm here. So I'm going to keep getting better and keep working on what's right. Um, but playoff Kelsey is, I don't know who that is, but hopefully I'm prepared for those moments and prepared for um, that experience when it comes. I meant more in terms of the team being able to move up in the in the playoff seating. Oh, yeah, now. for sure. Yeah, I think that uh, for us, if we can keep collecting these wins and stay focused on the right thing, we'll put ourselves in an even better position than just clinching. And so you're right. I think that the focus should be different and more if we can keep climbing that ladder while we're in a regular season, that'd be nice for us. Right.